basically you followed him around everywhere, I guess, got to sit on meetings, see how he ran the company. First of all, how did you score that game? <laughs> but at the time when it was offered to me, I said no. And uh, it was a very undefined role. And when I talked to Jeff about it, he, I said, well, what's the goal of the role? And he said, well, the goal is for me to get to know you better and for you to get to know me better and to build some trust. In the company's earnings report, Bezos will be replaced by Amazon's web services chief, Andy Jeff. After entering into Jeff Bezos's Amazon empire as a marketing manager nearly three decades back, Andy Jassy climbed Amazon's leadership ladder to the top in two decades, holding the credit for digging out Amazon's cash cow, Amazon Web Services, which generates over 60% of its operating profit. He became one of the most influential figures in the business world as the CEO of Amazon. From his early childhood to reaching the top of Amazon and his major changes for the future, we will cover them all. Stay tuned until the end of this video. Andy Jassy was born on January 13, 1968, grew up in the affluent New York suburb of Scarsdale in the middle of three children. His father, Everett, is a lawyer who was a partner at Manhattan law firm Dewey Ballantyne. His mother, Marjorie, worked as a trustee at the youth theater program Theater Works USA. After graduating from the public Scarsdale High School, he went to Harvard, where he majored in government studies and took his first job as the advertising manager for the Harvard Crimson. The Harvard Crimson is the student newspaper of Harvard University and was founded in 1873 run entirely by Harvard College undergraduates. Then he received an MBA from Harvard Business School as well. In between, he worked as a project manager at collectibles company MBI. After soaking up all that business wisdom at Harvard and doing the on and off job hustle, it's game time for Andy. Let's find out how Andy entered into the Amazon empire and became a top performing employee. Once Andy resigned from the project manager role at MBI, he was on the run for a new job. Then Amazon's marketing chief spotted his resume in a pile from the Harvard Business School career office. In May 1997, Andy joined Amazon in Seattle as a marketing manager, a week before the company's initial public offering. Assigned to the tiny marketing department, Jassy was quickly drafted to explore what the company should sell after books. While two business school classmates studied video and packaged software, Jassy wrote the plan for Amazon's entrance into the music business. He argued that the company's first expansion beyond books should be into music sales. After years of outstanding performance as a marketing manager, in 2002, Bezos asked Jassy to become his shadow advisor, a temporary chief of staff, a position awarded only to the most promising managers. For about 18 months, Jassy followed Bezos around every day, sitting with him in meetings and serving as his ears in rooms where Bezos's presence could throw discussions off track. Bezos was already a Jassy fan. He even saved Jassy's job during a round of layoffs in the marketing department and dubbing him one of our most high potential people, according to a member of Bezos's executive team. He came to trust Jassy implicitly. Unlike some executives who occasionally censored themselves to avoid confrontation with a fiery CEO, Jassy told it to Bezos straight. Andy holds the blueprint of Amazon's cash cow AWS, also known as Amazon Web Services. Could this be a plus point for Andy when climbing Amazon's leadership ladder to the top? Let's dig in. In the start of 2003, Jassy left the shadow advisor role to outline Amazon's expertise in managing troves of e-commerce data, along with its expansive network of data centers, to make data storage cheaper and easier for other companies. He wrote a memo to Bezos to convince him for the idea of AWS, Amazon Web Services would work, and Bezos signed it off in October 2003. Since then, AWS has grown into a 40 billion US dollars business within Amazon, generating more than 60% of the entire company's operating profits. AWS now owns over 30% of the cloud computing market share. Jassy's work in building AWS has attracted the attention of his industry peers. Former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer, considered Jassy as his successor before choosing Satya Nadella as the next Microsoft CEO. And Jassy was also rumored to take the CEO role of Uber after Travis Kalanick's departure. With the success of Amazon Web Services, Andy became one of the few options for Bezos to pass on the CEO role. This is how it unfolded. After completing 27 years as CEO of Amazon, in 2021, 
Bezos announced he was stepping down as the tech giant's chief executive officer, telling shareholders that he would officially leave the position on July 5, 2021, the same day Amazon was incorporated in 1994, putting Andy Jassy in the next step of Amazon's leadership ladder. In a letter to employees, Bezos said, Andy is well known inside the company and has been at Amazon almost as long as I have. He will be an outstanding leader and he has my full confidence. Jassy also serves on the Amazon board of directors. He now has 16 direct reports, including Rohit Prasad, the leader of Amazon's new AI group. After Bezos, Andy has made his imprint on Amazon in ways that reflect his own unique perspective and leadership style. Wondering about what are the major decisions that Andy had to take soon after he became the CEO? Stay tuned to find out. He has drilled into key parts of the business that Bezos pushed off onto deputies, especially the logistics operations. He admitted that Amazon was overbuilt and needed to cut costs, closing its physical bookstores and putting some warehouse expansion plans on ice. In Andy's first two years as Amazon CEO, he has added or replaced several executives in the company's top leadership team. Amazon's employees and leadership team have clashed over remote work policies since Jassy became CEO. Managers were allowed to effectively fire employees who failed to comply with Amazon's return to office mandate after months of internal turmoil. Amazon started forcing staff to relocate near central hub offices or take a voluntary resignation, infuriating some workers who had already been asked to return to the office at least three days per week. Jassy gave an internal interview where he addressed return to office policy, after which an internal Slack channel about remote work quickly filled up with dozens of critical employee reactions. Most people were disappointed by Jassy's failure to provide clear data on in-office works benefits. Amid tough calls as the new CEO, he entered the millionaire club becoming one of the wealthiest business figures. Let's dive into the digits and check out Andy's net worth. As of January 2024, Andy Jassy's net worth is estimated to be roughly $400 million. Jassy's net worth is primarily tied to the shares in Amazon he owns. Other than Jeff Bezos and his ex-wife and family members, Jassy is among the company's largest individual shareholders. Filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Jassy owned more than 2 million common shares in Amazon, which he accumulated as part of compensation throughout his career at the company. Now brace yourselves for the most interesting part of the video, what's on the horizon for Amazon under Andy's leadership. These are the most anticipated changes Andy is likely to bring to the future of Amazon. The decline in its stock price has unsurprisingly led many talented people to depart. Amazon will have to start paying people the going rate in cash, and it's already beginning to do so. Automation will play a pivotal role in Amazon's future, with robots replacing warehouse workers and potential use of autonomous vehicles for deliveries. Operational enhancements, such as the automated long-distance trucking platform, will contribute to efficiency. Finally, Amazon will almost spin out its web services at some point. The period when Amazon needed its web services in-house and needed as its best customer is now long gone. Amazon will seek to monetize that too, aiming to create value by listing Amazon web services separately and then selling parts. There you have it, the fascinating journey of Andy Jassy. What might have fueled Andy's journey to the role of Amazon CEO? Was it his rock-solid commitment and business wisdom, or the trust he built with Jeff Bezos? Drop a comment below and let's get the conversation going. For more interesting videos like this, subscribe to our channel. And for more information, visit our website geeksaroundglobe.com.